YouTube family, what is up, everyone? The he is bringing you what I believe is is truly my most fantastic Call of Duty moment, rivaled by only one other moment, and that's not even the 76 kill gameplay that I uploaded just a few days ago. The the moment that rivals this is back on Modern Warfare 2, a demolition game where me and Ob Venom were absolutely dominating. I think I get 40 or 50 kills, but you know, back in Modern Warfare 2, they didn't blast your kill streaks off on the side, you know, so visually pleasing and and, and hard to ignore. You know, they put them on a very very small piece of your um of like your little player HUD down in the um, bottom right corner and I completely forgot about a full out chopper gunner that I had just waiting to be called in I had gotten so into the hype of the game calling in you know UAVs and predator missiles and whatnot that man I completely forgot that I had actually accumulated enough kills to call in another chopper gunner um, but ultimately I feel like if I would have got that chopper gunner called in um, I could have went for probably like 80 kills or something like that and that would have stayed the greatest moment that I've ever had in Call of Duty but this moment here is something fantastic especially considering everything that it built up to be just for your info guys I've been in a slump for the better part of the last two weeks um, it started off right after I had my 76 kill gameplay I just couldn't get anything I couldn't get anything at all and it was ridiculous I kept dying 100 points or 50 points or 25 points off my streaks and it was such a frustrating experience but you know you know what they say continuing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results is insanity so I had to change something and um, one of the things that I did was I, I switched up my class a little bit I um, instead of running ghost like I've actually been running for pretty much since the game came out I took ghost off I gave myself an extra flashbang and then added rapid fire to my breasty. Rapid fire was a um, an attachment that I ran early into Black Ops 3, but then I kind of thought maybe it wasn't really necessary, and I, I started utilizing that space for other things. So I decided to bring it back, and I think it was a it, it was really a great decision. I found myself in a better rhythm, found myself getting a lot more double kills that I was getting hoed out of. And um, since I was able to pop off the second shot a little bit faster, some of my close quarter encounters that I normally lose, ironically, with the breasty, I was actually able to perform successfully in. It wasn't long before I found myself, though, in another slump. And I had to make a decision that I wasn't going to be productive to my team while trying to run these high streaks if I wasn't going to get them so I switched I think to sentry gun um, UAV and Cerberus uh, which was a bad combination but it gave me the confidence and the boost to continue to get my streaks again because sometimes even if your streaks aren't doing anything just calling them in can get you in a rhythm can get you know to get things spiced up and 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 get you to play more naturally and in your own um, rhythm and pace to be successful like like you otherwise are when you're not in a slump um, but ultimately I realized you know what uh, you know I've kind of gotten my groove back but these streaks aren't working um, and I was able to make the decision to switch to trying to run something a little bit different and what's it's what I call map control something I've tried only one other time while playing this game and that's UAV, um, sentry gun and um, guardian and I went into a very very small mini slump in between having really 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 good games this was the final game on the back end 
of a boost of great games that I was able to have after a two or three game slump and it was truly the best capitalization on on a night where I feel like I truly learned a better way to play with my team. Um, Chance was running pretty much great recon with UAV, um, Hater, and Wraith. And then the show was pretty much doing an onslaught of all just aggressive lethal kill streaks. And this worked. This worked with my map control. We all were constantly getting our streaks because with the recon I knew exactly where to put these things to be successful and I'm able to move around the map because of some of the lethal streaks that the show had popped up this is the amazing moment that I was telling you all about you know we come back here and they move on because they believe that the spawn has flipped but it doesn't and I'm caught <laughs> with the entire team in their spawn and I'm thinking, oh no, Call of Duty has tried to hold me once again, but let me just do whatever the hell I can to get what I can out of this moment. And all of a sudden, here I am <laughs> with the entire team dominating them. And it was just an absolute fantastic moment. Everything had to go right for that to be accomplished everything from from perfect recon to you know me being able to give a couple of call outs to the actual streaks that I was running and that's what it goes down to and that's what I wanted to talk to y'all about and that's what I and that's some advice that I feel like I could give when you're not doing well change something don't keep using the same classes don't keep using the same streaks change something and I promise you will find yourself back in your own rhythm and you will be successful